Hello Internet. Um, if you've seen videos on my channel before, you know that I like the small arcade cabinets and small consoles and things um, to the extreme in that this was the... <clears throat> well, I bought this as a mini arcade machine and uh, converted it over to MAME. So that's, that's playing Spectrum game actually, that's Alienate. Um, and then I got the... Uh, the little tiny arcade, which is the four-way, uh, do this with one hand. Uh, ah, now I've got the test drum. Let's try that again. Okay. So it's the arcade cabinet that you can mod into uh, four games from the one console using uh, just the joystick inputs, and it's tiny and it's silly, but. You know, it's it's Galaxians. So um, I saw something on a well, I saw it on a crowdfunding uh, site called Crowd Supply, but uh, it turns out the place has an actual uh, website which you can order from. But I got this today, and this, which is ridiculously tiny, is called a Pocket Sprite. There you go, buy Pocket Sprite. And it is, I believe, the, sm the world's smallest handheld console. You can play actual proper games on it. So let's just give it a power up and you can see. So right now that's acting as a Wi-Fi hotspot. So if you've got a computer on Wi-Fi, you connect to it instead of your own Wi-Fi. Or um, if you've got uh, a phone, you just switch the Wi-Fi sources. Go to that website and you've got the Pocket Sprite that appears and it gives you a list of all your files and how big they are and it gives you the ability to delete and add new files. So if I just come down to menu. So right now it's got what I think it's the latest beta version of the software as of this video. So it now supports uh, Nintendo Entertainment System, uh, Sega, so Master System and Game Gear and Game Boy and Game Boy Color. And so, I mean, it's ridiculous. It's, it's so small, but you just can't not like it. It's it's a bit of a fingerprint magnet, um, so beware of that. Uh, but if we just go to there, and then you basically put on ROMs as SMS or as GBs or dot neses, so all your favourites. So here it is. Uh, so that is Sonic. It's a bit flickery on this uh, cell phone camera, um, but you can just sort of you can hear it just about. So my one criticism with it is it's insanely quiet. It does have the music, it's just really, really quiet. And this is impossible to play on uh, one hand. Uh, so you've got a little menu to close the emulator out, reset the game. It does remember what you were doing. So if you just switch it off, like I've, you've just sort of saved in state there. It comes back to uh, where it was. Um, you can't have multiple save states, so it is just a where you are. Um, which is good for, you know, you got to switch it off because you... you got to stop to eat or, or you're going out or something like that um, this is the Game Boy one so I can barely hear that So let's put this down on the table, see if that's any easier. I might be able to use two fingers there. And I'm dead. 
Um, so you can adjust the volume, the brightness. Now you see the volume is up full on this. It doesn't go any higher. Uh, we can power the whole unit off. Uh, charge battery charge time is um, about an hour. This was complete completely flat. Wouldn't do a thing. Um, it's also got. Uh, hang on. If I go back into this, a because there's a, it's weird. There's a, the world's tiniest little start and stop button there. So you've got the ability to sort of check all the buttons, and you can. Uh, is it that one? Yeah. So you can lock the keys. You can turn the Wi-Fi off, which I guess would give you a bit more battery life. No idea what the battery life is. I don't think it's gone down since I charged it this morning. Um, you can change the Wi-Fi channel, and you can adjust the brightness and the volume of in this in software. Uh, they are still developing ugh, fiddly fiddle. Uh, they are still developing uh, software for it. In fact, there's a competition to develop your own. Uh, 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 let's try that. Oh, so obviously it's gone back to the last thing I was doing. Not another Super Mario bubble bobble, which I think I I had a go of. That seems like it's shifted over on the side of the screen. But the NES emulator is uh, early days. Can't even see where I am. Oh. Well, that's how good I am at that. Um, so, yeah, there we go. Pocket Sprite. Um, it's ridiculously form over function. There isn't really a practical way to play this. Uh, it weighs nothing, grams, it's absolutely insane. Um, come on, switch off, there we go. Uh, USB on the bottom for charging, as you'd expect these days. Um, but file transfer is done via Wi-Fi, not via cable. So you can't plug this into a computer and it appears as a, as a USB drive. Speaking of which, a good example of just how small this is. There's an actual USB drive. So, that's ridiculous. So, there you go. Pocket Sprite by Pocket Sprite. Um, I think the website is pocketsprite.com, not sure. Um, but have a look. Uh, it was about $50, um, and they ship from uh, China. Um, and once I got the confirmation on shipping, I think mine was about a week, and it sailed through, no problems with customs just uh, arrived ships in a um, bubble jiffy bag so reasonably well packed the box it comes in is that um, it's all right packaging to be honest with you and it has a little tiny USB cable inside of it and a little card that sort of tells you how to in fact there's the card so it gives you a first go guide as to like you know go here do this and that's your that's access to your files it comes with some basic uh, freeware ROMs from what I could tell, some like a Sudoku type game and stuff like that. So probably stuff that somebody's homebrewed and given permission to use. Um, but it seems to support all the standard um, ROM file types for those emulators. And obviously it isn't a uh, particularly powerful device. Um, if I just in my other, with my other hand, have a look at the specs for this. Um, it is, I think it's an ESP250, I believe. Uh, let's go. Come on, what are the specs? Uh, OLED screen, 60 FPS, Gorilla Glass screen, um, instant on off, pretty much. Rechargeable battery, tiny 8 bit speaker. I'll say it's tiny, I can barely hear that. Um, uh, they do say it, it is playable, but really you've got to be very careful with your um, hands and fingers. I mean, when I'm playing it with two hands, I'm constantly covering up the speaker, and it's quiet enough as it is, but as soon as you do that, it's silent. 
Uh, they've got it on the website for $54 currently. And it is tricky to find the specs. Um, it's got a um, 16 meg, well, 16 MIBS um, storage on it. And that includes the ROM. So you actually get about 12. It ships with the emulators on it, and they take up some of the space. And there's a, an app called Chooser, which is like the, the this very front-end thing, that I was, as far as I can tell. Um, so they take up some of your storage. Now, once you get the emulators on, you're down to about 12. But the ROMs are always tiny. So they reckon about 100 ROMs of regular, regular size. I did have a look at some of the sizes. Um... Most of the ones that I've got on here are sort of 256k or 512k in size. Um, the biggest one I saw on this was GTA 4. Uh, sorry, GTA uh, for the Game Boy, and that was four meg. So that's a quite a massive chunk. Yeah, you could you could get some of those bigger ROMs and only get a couple on there before you filled it up. So there you go. And of course, I have to. Put, I always play Outrun on on these things. So, this is the NES. Sorry, it's the Master System version. And weirdly, I haven't seen another car playing this. I don't know whether the the game just doesn't support them. Never did play the Master System version of this, but. I don't think they ever did a... Oh, is that a car? There's a car. There's um. Oh, I'm out of time. No. I'm... I don't know what I'm doing. Because it's a very low screen, I mean, I can't even focus on this, it's that small, but... Text is unreadable. You can kind of guess what it says, but it's unreadable. So, you won't be enjoying playing um, any of these uh, like texty games, like the Pokemons and things like that. Although, I think somebody has already beaten a Pokemon game on this, which is insane. So, uh, there we go. Pocket Sprite. It's fun. And it's bloody tiny and all. Bye.